Hello everyone, I'm Oran Greenpeter from Software Heritage and I'd like to welcome you to this open science tutorial series on software source code deposit. In this tutorial series, we will look at the different options to deposit software source code into HAL, the French National Archive and into Software Heritage. I'm glad you are here with me to discover this first video of the tutorial series. But before we'll dive into why to deposit software source code in HAL and in Software Heritage, let's check out the full series. First, in this chapter, we will see why deposit software in HAL and in Software Heritage. Next, in chapter two, we will discuss how to prepare the software source code following best practices from the open source software community. Next, in chapter three, we will discover how to create a codemeta.json file from scratch. And then we have two different methods. First, the local method with chapter four, where we will discover how to deposit the local sources .zip or .rgz file. And then with the second method, using a software heritage identifier, we will see how to use the save code now functionality on software heritage and using this identifier, the software heritage identifier, the SWID, when depositing in a... Finally, in chapter seven, we will go behind the scenes and see how a software source code deposit is moderated. So let's start. Why do we want to archive software? Software source code is fragile. It can disappear. And many researchers have told me the story of having the source code of their thesis in a computer lab and not knowing what happened to it. This source code is probably lost forever, even if the thesis itself is safely archived. It is important to note that software source code has an essential role in research and should be archived properly alongside data and publication. It is time to save the code that was built for research as part of the open science ecosystem. If you are a researcher in a French institution, submit your code in the French National Archive R, which will be also saved in Software Heritage. In any case, you can directly save your code in Software Heritage or even save any code you are using off the internet in Software Heritage. HAL is a scholarly infrastructure ensuring long-term archival, interoperability, and metadata quality of scientific materials. All deposited materials go through a manual moderation process. Recently, just in 2018, HAL introduced the software source code deposit, and we can browse the collection with various filters. We will choose by publication type and we'll search for the software collection. We can then search for a specific author, the field, the laboratory, or other filters that we can find on the left. This is the main feature when using HAL because the source code is discoverable and the metadata record is reviewed by a professional moderator. Now, if I want to find Roberto's deposits, I can search by the author name. So let's try Roberto Di Cosmo. We find two deposits and we go to the first one, the PowerMap software. On the PowerMap record page, we see metadata. We can display the full list of metadata and we have some specific software metadata on the right. We have the citation and a few exports, including the BibTech software version type that we see in full in a separate page. The type of this BibTech entry will be software or software version if a version property was submitted. We can find both the HAL identifier and the software heritage identifier, the SWID, which points to the specific artifact archived in Software Heritage. On the Software Heritage side, we have the complete content of the deposit, including 
the readme that is visible on the site, then we can also explore the origin from where the software was with this arrow to the original location, which is GitHub. Here we notice that the software is developed on a forge, which is GitHub. It was saved in Software Heritage, and then the metadata record was deposited in HAL with the reference to the existing artifact in Software Heritage. If you don't know Software Heritage, you should check out the main archive page where are listed all the locations that are pulled regularly to the largest public source code archive in the world. Stay with me for the next chapters and discover how you can contribute following community best practices and finally, how to deposit your software in R and Software Heritage. Thank you for being here.